Today I'm talking with Stephanie Abbott with BGA Premier Insurance and we're talking about life insurance and divorce issues. Stephanie, um, at the end of a divorce and it, uh, the judge orders or the parties agree that a spouse will have um, life insurance policy, who should that owner be? The owner of a life insurance policy in a divorce settlement should definitely be the person that is receiving the payments of support. And this is important because only the owner can make changes on a life insurance policy. So for example, if an ex-husband is the owner of the policy and he is responsible for making the child support and alimony payments, he is the only one that can make changes on who is the beneficiary of the policy. So down the line, should he get remarried? or if he has a girlfriend and he decides to make that change, he can do that. So it's very important for the person receiving the benefits to have to be the owner of the policy. Great, that's some great tip because I could definitely see that happening unfortunately. And I don't think pe many people realize that that is an issue. Um, if you have any questions regarding your life insurance policy, please uh, reach out to me and I'd be happy to connect you with Stephanie Abbott with BGA Premier Insurance.